There is a lot of uh, land in the United States and a lot of groundwater that could be used that's contaminated with toxic chemicals. The goal of the Superfund Research Program at UC Berkeley is to develop new technologies for the cleanup of hazardous waste sites and better ways of assessing exposure and health problems in communities living around hazardous waste sites. Two of my favorite uncles died of leukemia and I was always interested in what caused leukemia. And in the 1980s, hazardous waste sites that were on the Superfund list were associated with an increased risk of childhood leukemia and other types of leukemia in the population. So I became interested in them as a potential cause of leukemia. I started my work on protecting the environment in graduate school when I realized I had a lot of the skills and interests in applying engineering, but I really wanted to save the world. As a clinician, you're dealing with one person at a time, and you can, you can make some big impacts in that one person's life. But as a researcher, you can make impacts on a much broader scale. You can help develop research that leads to policy decisions that can affect millions of people at a time. I became interested in the topic of cleaning up hazardous waste sites after college when I got a job working for a consulting company. We went to old industrial sites and helped the factories that were shutting down to clean up the soil and groundwater. We were very good at characterizing contamination, measuring the levels of pollutants in soil and groundwater, but we weren't very good at cleaning it up. It's occurred to me many, many times that so many years after we were able to put a man on the moon, it's ridiculous that we can't run our society without damaging the environment. Uh, it's repeated, but with a different data generating distribution. We're not mathematicians. We're not doing things because of the beauty of mathematics. We're doing things to solve a problem. I saw that there were two ways in which people were cleaning up hazardous waste sites. One was by using microbes or bioremediation, and the other was by using chemical treatment methods. And I saw a lot of sites which were uh, very frustrating to the engineers who were trying to do the cleanup. But in the Superfund program, we can develop a thorough understanding of the processes that occur that allow us to develop the next generation of technologies and to optimize and improve the existing technologies. This Superfund project is really important because it's right there in the nexus between theory and practice. And it's a sweet spot where we can really advance the science uh, while still solving important environmental problems. Our collaboration is very much back and forth. So what significance does the clustering have? They ask questions, we try to answer them with statistical techniques. Maybe we don't get it right the first time, we go back and forth. And this is the nature of our collaborations with the researchers in the Superfund. The most interesting thing that we're working on now is the impact of environmental chemicals on early life exposures. Because there has been a lot of data in animals, but there hasn't been a whole lot of data in humans. And primarily in the kind of diseases that kill people the cancers, the heart disease, the kidney disease, the sort of things that really impact mortality. Given the way that you're showing it here, it's nice to be able to publish papers, but as engineers, we like to actually see people using processes that you have developed. That's when you really feel that you've made a difference. Our research will impact not only the future environmental protection, but also other elements of environmental microbiology. All kinds of different applications can be studied by the new molecular tools that we're developing as part of this Superfund project. Before someone wants to spend millions or tens of millions of dollars cleaning up a contaminated site, they need to know whether a technology is going to work. The kind of research that we've been doing can be used to screen and determine which technologies are most likely to be successful. In the future, I would like to see the UC Berkeley Superfund program develop even better methods for cleaning up Superfund sites. And I'd also like to see us develop markers which can be used in the, in the general population to understand the risk that these sites pose. There are so many chemicals that we are exposed to on a daily basis and that we know nothing about and that people are unaware of. The most important things to do to protect our environment and health, and I think it's to prevent uh, contaminants from being released into the environment in the first place. One of the real problems is people just... I think people need to focus on what they're buying, what they're doing, what, how they're using products. We can reduce cancer risks simply by changing our lifestyle. And so I 
identifying those risk factors, I think is really important. Additionally, we should encourage uh, public policy and, and support legislation that, that really preserves our environment. Human health and environmental health are linked, so if we want to take care of our own health, we have to take care of the health and the environment as well.